Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can filter out a green screen inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So this would require you to have already been using a green screen when you were recording footage inside of a studio. Usually what a green screen is, is literally a green screen that you have posted behind the actors. However, certain visual effects programs may also be able to export a video file and also have it be a green screen in the background so that you can filter out that one color later on in order to take a visual effect or actors and put them on top of any other clip. So in order to filter out this green screen, we need to go over to the color tab for the clip where we have that screen. So what we're going to need to do on the color tab is to take these green colors, select them and separate them from all the other colors in this explosion and then to add alpha transparency to them so that they are as close to invisible as possible. So in order to select our green colors there is a selection tool down here towards the middle bottom it's the picker tool and we can left click on one of the green colors. Ideally the green you select should be the same exact green in terms of hue saturation and luminance across the entire frame. In reality though you may get some shadows or some varying green colors which might make it harder to select with just one click. So now you can see in the qualifier that we have a tiny sliver of green hue selected, a saturation range, and a luminance range. And what you should notice is over here in the nodes section we can see that the green is selected but the explosion area is not. So it almost looks like we're removing the explosion rather than the green screen. That's actually the opposite of what we want. So what we should click here is this little tool, the invert, which is going to swap the green selection for the explosion selection. So now the explosion should be what's going through and the green should not be included in any of the outputs for this clip. But in order to make the green actually be removed, we need to right click in the nodes area and do add alpha output. So this will allow us to take this alpha output from the color node and to drag it to the final output. By doing that, it actually makes the alpha removal go through. So we're taking the green, we're removing the alpha from it and we're including that in the final output for our clip. So by doing that we can hit play and the video clip will play but all of the green areas everywhere across that clip should be removed for the most part. Now obviously you can still see a lot of green and we need to improve that. So how we can work on this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and there's an extra tool over here in the selection range section which is the add additional color range tool. So it's the one with a plus sign right here. If you click on that we can start adding in additional green sections that should be removed for the final output. So wherever the green is remaining in our final output, we can left click and it's going to extend the saturation, luminance, and hue ranges until it grabs all of that green color. You might need to click a few times, obviously. Um, be careful not to add in, let's say, the smoke color or any other colors which should be in your clip. Um, we are only trying to remove the outer edges so that it looks as clean as possible. Whenever you have any doubts, you can go back in the clip, hit play, and see how it looks so far. You can see that there's still some green that's going through, right? So we can keep working on this by using the color picker add tool. If we choose, we could also do something like uh, come down here to saturation and increase the saturation range manually which is going to add or remove some of those unwanted sections. And then for the hue, we can incrementally increase the width or the soft hue range by left clicking and incrementally increasing these numbers. And hopefully by the end, we can remove as much as possible of the green that was remaining in the previous clip. Some other settings you can play around with over here under matte finesse might be something like a blur radius. Some other settings you can try adjusting a little bit in order to get better results might be under Mate Fenis. So clean black, if we increase this, it's going to start cutting away at the edges here a little bit. And as we get closer to the result we would expect, we hit play and see how it looks, hopefully with as much of the green screen removed as possible. 
So just for some final tuning, I can come in here where I can clearly see some green here. Um, and we can try increasing the width a little bit for the color range. So note that the more generous you are here with the qualifier and filtering out that green, the more it may actually remove some color from the effect that you wanted to be in the final clip. So it really becomes a balancing act where you're just fine tuning these numbers, trying to get it to look as good as possible without removing any of the explosion that you actually wanted to be there in the final clip. And of course, you might not be dealing with an explosion. More likely, it's something like a person. But the idea is still the same. You want to filter out as much of that green using these color tools without removing any of the definition from your special effect. So hopefully after spending a few minutes on it, you can get it to look pretty good without having much, if any, of the green that was originally there remaining in the final clip. So now what you can do is you can add any clip you want to show behind that. So back over in the Edit tab, I'm just going to take this other random video I had and set that up on Video Track 2. Video Track 2 actually shows in front. So what we want to have happen here is this green screened out effect is going to actually be above that on Video Track 2. And I'm going to drag this regular clip in to be Video Track 1. And so now we can play it back with the final video effect. And as you can see, we have the explosion, but everything else is transparent. So the green screen has been completely removed and we can have literally any background we want to go in association with this giant green screen explosion. So hopefully that gives you guys an idea of how you can take DaVinci Resolve and use a green screen clip and then to combine it with any other video clips of your choosing. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.